Hello and welcome to J&J &J True Outdoor Adventures. As some of you may not know, I am a ham radio operator and I wanted to make a, what they call a go box to take to our deer hunting camp so I could communicate. In these images, you're gonna see where I started out with the radio, Luton LT425 UV, used some plexiglass, I got a roll up J pole and I started the layout, seeing where I wanted everything to fit. Got an SO239 connector and got some switches. And I had a pattern for the meters and USB ports that was gonna go in. Started putting things together, done some reinforcing with uh, uh, balsa wood. And uh, it all started coming together. Had a storage spot for the microphone. Uh, I was thinking about putting these banana plugs in, but wasn't sure like that. I got the switches mounted, still waiting on the meter to come in and the USB uh, to come in. And uh, just, you know, working on it day by day. So, you know, I kept looking at it thinking, well, is there any place to improve? Well, I went ahead and done a battery test. And of course you can see success. Uh, using a uh, Wild Game Innovations 12 volt 7.2 amp hour. Hooked up the antenna, I tested the transmit on it. Here's the fuse panel uh, that I ordered. Uh, it's got LEDs that will show up whenever uh, a fuse is blown. Uh, the back of the switches, uh, the wiring of the switches, that's for the radio right there where I was testing it. Uh, there's the little radio, it's got a little fan on the back. Of course I did put a fan in from a computer. Use the MTM 50 caliber ammo storage box and uh, just started putting this all together. Uh, finally got the meters in, there's the panel so I could mark out where the meters need to go. And here it is, somewhat completely done, with vinyl camo pattern on it. Uh, here it is all hooked up and tested. Uh, all, after all the wiring has been done, charging of the battery uh, and the 12 volt charger. Here it is, I had it at the office so I could show it to some people. And this is about it. Okay, here we are again, and in this video you see I added a storage compartment. Right there it is. That's where I can keep the BNC connector, the programming cable, and all that. And of course it's down to 12.3 volts, and of course I'm charging the battery now. Here it is outside, just before I got ready to charge. <laughs> 